Well, as we continue to show you places to play here in Rancho Cucamonga, there's one place that culture remains very strong. Well, I had the honor of sitting down with one of the most famous woodworkers in American history before he passed away. Let's take an inside look back at the Maloof Museum. At 90 years young, the house Sam Maloof crafted for his late wife Alfreda and their family has been turned into a historical museum and is now the Sam and Alfreda Maloof Foundation for Arts and Crafts. With pieces at the prestigious Sotheby's, it's hard to imagine why Maloof is still having a hard time realizing just how good his work is. How beautiful the wood is here. And, uh, well, I never knew if I was good enough. I still. Uh, Every time I make a piece, even now, after 67 years, uh, and everything that I make is on commission, uh, I wonder if the client is going to like it. I hope they like it. And people did like Maloof's work. The furniture Maloof crafted began when he married Alfreda. The young couple had very little money or furniture, and so Maloof went to work. I made uh, furniture out of whatever I could find, scrap wood, wood that was damaged and all. And uh, uh, several people approached me and wanted furniture, and I didn't know if I should do it or not. But my job as a graphic artist, and uh, Rita said, we, we can do it, Sam. We really can do it. And with her encouragement and her love, I quit my job and started making furniture. Maloof's work was so impressive, it drew the interest and created friendships with people from young married couples to presidents all wanting a piece of furniture from Maloof. Everything from rocking chairs to tables. Even Maloof says President Reagan may have described his work the best. I went to Washington um, and met them and it was presented to President Reagan. I remember he said, I just didn't know that people made things like this by hand anymore. There's a beautiful feeling to it. In 2000, when the 210 freeway extension was added, it forced relocation of the historical house, and so Maloof's house was moved to a new location, piece by piece, and preserved as a museum. The city also built a new house for Maloof, which is located on the same property, but Maloof, being the woodworker he is, has made some adjustments. I added a big bedroom to it, and I tore out bathrooms, and put in fixtures that I like, that type of thing. And now I'm in the process of tearing out the kitchen. Maloof's love of wood and design is what makes the Maloof Museum so incredible. It is all of Maloof's heart and soul. To enter the museum is to enter in another era. This is why people travel all over to see the museum and will continue to. As for Maloof, well, he's still working hard. You can feel this, just like it's silk, it's just... Oh, I'm still working. I'll, I'll, I'll work until the good Lord tells me I can't. I enjoy it, though. It isn't, it isn't work. It's just a lot of fun. And, uh, this one's probably the most difficult one that I have to work in. And I'm Courtney Stubblefield.